Hello friends, so in this video I'm going to work with uh, policies, but first thing, uh, if I click here, I want to fix this error because right now also the manager uh, can navigate, for example, to the settings. And you see we have this settings controller index not uh, exist but if I open sorry if I open the VS code and here we have the out service provider I'm going to remove all from the last video so we need to open the setting controller and create a method here index and just return settings okay save come here and refresh and right now we have settings here and we are logged in as a manager so if I go to the dashboard, yeah, we are as manager and we don't see that we hide the link here, but if I navigate manually, so settings, we get the, the route and here as well. So in the, if I go to the settings, yeah, we get the settings. Now we need to add middleware there. So in the web roads in the settings I'm going to add one more middleware so say middleware and here uh, need to open the, our service provider and yeah we have this access settings copy this and say can and paste that in save come here and refresh yeah the, the admin can access but if I refresh here we have this action is unauthorized okay next now is uh, work with uh, policy and if I go to the slash products Okay, here we have the product list and I'm going to display the list of the products. So I'm going to open inside the resources, admin, the products index. I'm going to copy what we have here. And now in the products we have this index i'm going to add that, that list here okay save come here and refresh and yeah we have the products of this user and if i come here i changed the user id for those products so here i add the user id 3 and the last two two so the user with id 3 is manager and the user with ID2 is admin. And also if I go here and go to the products, we have two if I log out and I'm going to log in as test user. Okay, go to the products and yeah, we have four of them. Okay, now I'm going to add a link here to go to the edit and see what's happened. So also add one more TD here and I'm going to add also the class.
and here is going to be the anchor tag with class px4 and py2 now i'm not going to work more with uh, classes so here i'm going to say edit and save from here and refresh and yeah we have this one now uh, in the web routes we have this resource products and i'm going to open the product controller and create a new function for uh, edit and here we need the product so i'm going to use mod road model binding so product dollar sign product and here i'm going to return the product okay now that this is only just to show you and in the index now in here i'm going to add the anchor tag uh, sorry shref and it's going to be the road products uh, edit and we need to add the product id okay save come here and refresh and yeah we have this if I click here, we display this product. Now the problem is here, if uh, you see here, this product has the ID 5. And the product with ID 6 now is, has the user with ID 3. So it's not, it's not belonging to this user, but to the uh this user the manager and if i click edit here and uh, say change the and i did the six yeah we get the the product now how we can uh protect that is to create a policy and if you go to the authorization and creating policy so here i'm going to say php artisan make policy or add the model and open the terminal paste that in and this is for the product now also the same thing you can create for the posts so product policy okay close this one and open now the product policy here we have view any view and create update and delete restore now here when we have the uh, view so we can return the user id and also the if the user id is exactly as the post user id so i'm going to copy this and go to the view and paste this one now just change this to be product hit save and come here and refresh nothing happened because here we have we are in the edit 
and also we need to add the to call the authorization so you can say get authorize and this one or this authorized update and add the post so if i copy this and add it here in the policy what we have we have the view just change this to be product not update but the view of this and save refresh now we have uh, this section is unauthorized if i change to b5 yeah we got that the same thing is for the uh, manager now if i click edit here we have the user 7 but if i change this to 5 we have this action is unauthorized uh, that's okay now we can create uh, we have create have uh, different controllers for the user and the model and the admin sorry and the same thing you can say to the update delete restore and force delete okay that's it's just the simple one how we can restrict the user from viewing the product that does not belong to this user okay you can call this authorized and also add the post class here but i think this is very useful and uh, also you can uh, add the middleware if you have single route or route view or put or post or something get and add the middleware for that specific uh, route okay friends Hope you understand and hope you enjoy the view the video. Please subscribe and like the video. And see you in the next one. All the best.